Good morning, good morning, good folks. Look at this trailer. Look at it. Empty. It's 9.30 a.m. here in Prince Edward Island. That means it's 7.30 a.m. back at home. There's my load. So I'm gonna wait for direction before I leave the island. I have to pay a toll to leave Prince Edward Island. And I don't wanna have to pay, I don't wanna pay that toll and then ha be told that I have a load here on the island and I have to turn around and come back to pick it up. I don't think, it's not very likely at all that I'm gonna have a reload on Prince Edward Island here, but just in case, I don't wanna pay that toll and have to come back. I'm gonna wait for them to give me a direction. I'll probably be going into Quebec or something for a reload. We'll see. I had a reload scheduled on me yesterday, uh, but it got canceled. That reload was in Northern New Brunswick and it was going down to Wisconsin. I was excited about that. Kind of sad that I lost it, but for whatever reason it got canceled. Maybe it wasn't ready yet or I don't know. Whatever the reason is, that's okay. We'll wait for something else. Some of you have asked how I get my loads. I don't schedule my own loads. I don't find my own loads. That's my truck. I own the truck. They find the loads for me. They take care of all the headaches. They find the loads for me. They uh, book them. They arrange everything for me. Uh, what else do they do? Well, they handle all payroll, obviously. All the, all the paperwork back at the office. All I do is I have a computer inside my truck and it goes ding when there's a load offer for me. And then I, I look at the load offer and I have a choice whether or not I accept it. I can say yes or I can say no. I don't ever, I, I very, 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 very rarely ever say no. And once I have a load booked on me, I get the information, I go pick it up, and then I take it to where it needs to be. Still here. And unfortunately, we're not getting reloaded today. But I got some direction, so we can get moving. I'm heading to Moncton, New Brunswick, which is pretty much just on the other side of the bridge, a little ways into New Brunswick there. Uh, there's obviously not gonna be anything on the island, and there's nothing around the Maritimes right now to line me up with today. I might be taking my reset here then, so I'm gonna call them on the way there and, just, and ask them, hey, would it work for you just, because I'm running low on hours, I, I might be able to make it, make it home if I can keep reca recapping hours, like looking at my clock here. It depends where they want me to go, right? If they want me to go into the US, I'm definitely gonna have to do a reset. Uh, but if they want me to go back across Canada, well, then I got some hours to play with. We're not gonna be driving through downtown Charlottetown. I was looking forward to showing you all the big buildings and stuff that they got here. It's, it's not like it's a massive city or anything. It's like a small city. But I wanted to show you because we drove through it last night to get here, right? And it was a truck route. However, I didn't realize that there is a bypass that goes around the city. Oops. Good thing we did that at night. So we're gonna go ahead and bypass around Charlottetown. I went right through downtown. It's just better. It's just better if we go around. It's just better if we go around. This is Charlottetown. We're coming up to it here. Uh, we've got to go around it. Last night we went right through it, which would mean we would turn to the left. Karen's trying to get me to go that way again, my GPS. I'm going to go around the bypass this time. Once we get over the water here, there's like a little channel here, a river. Get to this, I'm gonna turn right instead. I'm hoping I can find a Timmy somewhere that I can pull into. I kinda of doubt it though. I don't think I'm gonna find one on the island. I mean, there is Tim Hortons here, but there's none with truck parking. This is not a very truck friendly island, I've noticed. There's no truck stops, no big ones anyway. Nowhere to park a truck overnight. Like, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know this island very well, but I looked. There's not a whole lot of places where you can stay overnight, so it was, I was lucky I was able to sleep right at the customer last night. I don't know where I would have stayed. There's just nowhere to park. Here's a Tim Hortons up on the other side. I don't think I'm going to be able to find anywhere to park this thing for five minutes. All right, Kate. Three hundred meters. Slide left on Grafton Street. You want me to go left? You want me to go through downtown? I'm, I'm sorry, Karen. I'm going around. 
Last night was okay because there was no traffic, but I don't want to deal with all that traffic today. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm not listening to you. I don't have to. truck stop? Irving. Is it a big stop? No, it's just a regular one. No, no truck park. At the roundabout, take the third exit in 600 meters. No, Karen. Now she wants me to turn around and go back. Really wants me to go through downtown. Really? That was the whole light? That was the whole thing? Prince Edward Island has fallen for this whole roundabout shenanigan too. Roundabouts everywhere. You know, you keep putting them in everywhere, I'm gonna start liking them. Then what? And then as soon as Trucker Josh says, oh, look, these roundabouts are good, they're a good thing, then they start taking them out. <laughs> Another one coming up. You kidding me? <laughs> I've gone through like 15 already. Bridge. I believe we've got to pay the toll on this side. Let's see how how much it costs to cross here. I'm not sure. I'm gonna to go to one of these lanes where there's an actual person in here. That's because I don't cross here very often. Looks like on the left there, they call it a straight pass. That would be the equivalent of like an easy pass. Just a drive right through type thing, I guess. I don't have one of those.
day has been all over the place. I'm in Salisbury, came here, and I thought that we were gonna stay here till tomorrow. Nope, turns out, just as I was settling down for the evening, they're like, no, 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 we got a load for you in Quebec, go to Quebec. I go, oh, okay, better get going to Quebec. Just as I get rolling to Quebec, they say, oh, no worries. Pickup isn't until the day after tomorrow. That's as early as we can get. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind, it's just... <laughs> ah, we're going to Quebec. But we're not in that big of a rush, so that's good, that's okay. My hour, I'm running low on hours anyway, so I, I was trying to tell them, like, if we're rushing this, like, I'm gonna run out of hours. I'm gonna have to start recapping hours. I don't know if I can make it. And then they came back and said, no, 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 we're gonna get you to load the next day. I was like, oh, okay, good. Good, that works perfect for me then. So I came back here, I got my Timmy's. I was bad. I've been good this whole trip, okay? I've been keeping my diet under 1,500 calories every single day this whole trip, okay? And I haven't even told anyone about it, but I did it. Today is blizzard day. And I'm very excited about it. And I don't care if you judge me. Go ahead, give me your best shot. Mm. Oh. Oh. That's good. That's good. That's good out here. So we're gonna go close to Quebec. We're gonna run up to uh, what is it, Edmonston? Not Edmonton, but Ed in Edmondson, close to the Quebec border with New Brunswick, but still in New Brunswick. There's a nice little truck stop there. There's a casino right next door. I think it's called the Gray Wolf Stop or something like that. The Gray something. Then we're gonna go there and park there for the night, and then we just got a few hours to do tomorrow. So that'll work. Perfect. Get ourselves back out on the highway. I like it when I have something to do, that I know what I'm doing. I don't like not knowing what I'm doing. That's what I mean, this whole day's kind of been up in the air in my head, because I didn't have anything to do, and I was sort of like, like a lost puppy. I need something to do. I mean, I don't mind sitting in New Brunswick, but I didn't even know if I was gonna be sitting in New Brunswick. And then when I finally decided, yeah, I'm going to be sitting in New Brunswick. No, nope, then everything changes. No, I'm not sitting. Now i got something to do. Ah, <laughs> oh, story of my life. That's okay. That's okay. I've, I've got to get across this traffic here. It's my turn. It's my turn. Do you know who I am? Excuse me. Excuse me. Trucker Josh's ego coming through here. Sometimes I get told in my comment sections that I got too much of an ego. I don't think I do. I don't think I'm very good. I don't think my videos are very good. I'm just glad you're here watching them with me, but I keep making them because you keep watching them. So as long as you guys keep coming back and watching my videos, I'll just keep making more. All right. So I've got about seven hours available to me to drive yet today, but we'll hit midnight before then, and then I get hours from tomorrow. So I still have very close to a full day to drive, if I want it. I could probably make it all the way down to uh, my pickup. My pickup's in Valcourt, Quebec. But since I don't need to be there till the day after tomorrow, I don't need to go the whole way today. We'll go a little bit today, we'll go a little bit tomorrow. We're not gonna get a reset either way. So at least this way, you know, it's works out better. I'll have three drops on that load heading west, back home. Uh, all three in Northern Ontario. Last one's in Kenora. And then I'm pretty sure we'll be going home after that, unless if I grab a load of lumber while I'm in Kenora. It may, may as well while I'm there, right? We'll see. We'll see what happens. We made it. So we didn't quite make it to the Grey Rock Casino truck parking lot. Only about a half hour before that at a Shell truck stop in St. Leonard, New Brunswick. Here, me and my empty trailer. I've got about five and a half hours of driving to do tomorrow sometime. My loading appointment is 7.30 a.m. I think I told you already. 
the following day. So I have to be there at least 10 hours before that so I can stop and get my logs all straightened out for the next day and get ready to go and get ready to load in the morning. So that means I have to be there by 9.30 p.m. tomorrow. That's only five and a half hours from here. So we could leave in the afternoon if we want to. There's no big rush. I'm probably going to leave around noon. I'm going to stop in Lancaster. Oh, shoot. We're not going to be going as far as Lancaster. I was going to say, we're going to stop in Lancaster, Ontario for a shower at the Flying J. We won't be in Ontario yet. We're just going into Quebec. I don't think there's any Flying J's in Quebec, is there? There used to be. But I heard that they had a falling out with Flying J and the province of Quebec uh, because Flying J refused to change their signs to French. Something like that. Remember I was telling you the other day that Quebec actually has language police? Like, it's a real thing. Like, it's language police. You can get in trouble for not using French properly. Or you can get in trouble for using English instead of French. Like, on your business signs, your business signs have to be in French. And the French language, you can have English on the signs, but it has to be a certain font size smaller than the French. You Quebecers can uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this. I don't live there, but... Maybe you can tell us more about your language police in the comments section. This should probably come from one of you and not from me, right? But I do know there are language police in Quebec, which is wild, crazy, right? Anyway, uh, something about, I think Flying J refused to uh, Frenchify their business. They convert everything over to French. Which I, that's what I heard anyways. So they got kicked out of the province. Is that true? I don't know, maybe one of you knows. Anyway, I guess we'll find somewhere to stop for a shower tomorrow. I wonder if they got showers in here. I'm going to go wander in here. Maybe they got showers here. We'll figure it out. Thanks for hanging out with me today. We went over Confederation Bridge. Did nothing today. Nothing. We sat on Prince Edward Island all day waiting for a load. And then we got sent to Moncton to wait there for a load. And then no load came in. And then I was just getting ready to settle in for the evening and enjoy some YouTube and maybe, you know, watch a Netflix movie or something. Just settling down. And then I got a message. Head to Quebec. We have a load for you in Quebec. I'm like, okay. So I buttoned up and got everything ready to go. I rushed out, out the gate and out of the truck stop and onto the highway. And then right after that, I got a phone call saying, okay, but you don't have to rush. It's only for the following day, like the day after tomorrow, you'll be loading. Yeah. I mean, I'm totally fine with that. It doesn't matter. But <laughs> it worked out. Now I get to sort of take my time. I can sleep in tomorrow here. Take my time getting there tomorrow. And uh, that'll be that. But hey, if you guys want to hang out with me some more, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I make videos every day of my life on the road, trucking across Canada and the United States. Hit that like button. If you did like the video, don't lie to me. Okay? I want an honest opinion. If you liked my videos, Hit that like button down below. Don't forget. And then share it with your friends so that more people can come and join our join our big internet family here. There's about 126,200 subscribers right now. And that'd be awesome if we could get more of them to watch every day. Anyways, take care everyone. Be safe. Drive safe.